Hey everyone, this is an introduction into the zones of the Adventure Kit. Uh, you can find the zones that come with the Adventure Kit under Shared Assets, Adventure Kit, Utilities, and there we have Ladder, Ledge, Tide Space, Wall, and Zipline. So, uh, first, let me put a few uh, cubes in the scene so we have some something to, to put the ledges on. I'll just put a few like a wall here. And now let's take a ledge and place it on the wall. Like so. Oh. Alright. Um, now in order to have the Adventure Kit character in the world um, we go to Settings, World Settings, and put the adventure sample game mode in here. So just uh, whoop, adventure sample game mode. And now we hit play and the character can use the ledge, climb around on the ledge and let go. Now if we want to have uh, multiple ledges with jumps then we can just drag another one out like so, and the character will automatically jump from ledge to ledge. Uh, how a character transitions from uh, a zone to another is governed by these arrows here, which indicate a transition. So currently on this ledge we can see there's one transition from this ledge to this ledge, and then there's a transition down to the floor. Ledges will uh, auto-generate transitions, so if you put a corner here, then there will be a corner transition, and if we put another corner here, then there will be this kind of corner transition. And we can also put a ledge up here, the character will then jump up to the ledge. So up and down, and around corners. So this is the, the ledges. Then the next uh, zone we have is a wall. We can place the wall here, align it with the ground, uh, like so. And then use these little widgets to define what size a wall has. And climb around on that wall. The next thing we have, uh, let's take the ladder. So I put the ladder in the level, and now the character can climb up the ladder or down. And the last zone we have is the tight space, which we put here. And now, if we go there, character will enter the tight space and exit again. Um, so the kit comes with two other uh, movement options which is ceiling climbing and balance walking. Uh, for these there are no dedicated zones but rather we have we can use um, the the wall zone to um, make a ceiling and in order to have the character climb on the ceiling we change the zone physics in the details panel to ceiling climbing. Like that. And now the character will climb on the ceiling. And similarly for the tight space we change the zone physics from tight space walking to balance walking. Okay, and if you have a ceiling and a wall and align them, there will be transitions generated where wall and ceiling inter uh, intersect, so the character can transition from the wall to the ceiling and vice versa. 
So now into a few of the options on each zone. So for example, um, the lenses have uh, a, diff a variety of different uh, build modules pre-configured, so the transitions are generated automatically. And uh, for that, we look under transitions, build modules, and you can see here's one entry, which is uh, the ledge enter exit corners and jumps module. And this module has a few parameters like uh, create transition to platform, side transitions require jumps, which means uh, if you jump from ledge to ledge, you have to press space explicitly. Um, and let's see, we can platform here. So currently, uh, if I jump up this ledge here, let's just play from here. I can't, if I press space, I can't uh, go onto the platform above. However, when I uh, check this checkbox, create transition to platform, and you can see a few arrows are generated here, and I can play from here now, and now the player can press space and climb up to the platform. So this way, you can configure how a ledge is used. And uh, similarly for all the other zones, each zone has a um, an array of these ledge builder of these uh, transition builder modules, and the kit comes with a variety of native ones, but you can also implement your own and uh, that way configure how a character behaves inside the ledge uh, zone. Sorry. And um, this concludes pretty much the rough overview of zones. Uh, we'll look at the zip line in a later tutorial because there's a few custom things there. And thanks for watching.